In today's video, I want to ask you, is his name really Jesus? Let's talk about it. to the Most High Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spirit-filled episode. Today, I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, there is a difference between letting the Ruach, you know, the Holy Spirit give you understanding versus letting a man or a woman that's stuck give you understanding. And you have a lot of people especially in Christianity, that will try to uh, explain this and they will ultimately get it wrong every time. So if, we do, if you do your research and see when the name Jesus was first recorded, when that name came about, you'll realize, dang, this is the reason why I encourage people to use etymology rather than a dictionary does you no good using a English dictionary to define, you know, words in English when we look at 4,000 years of Old Testament history being Hebraic Semitic history. You know, the portion that people don't realize of the New Testament, man, that's only about 200 to 250 years worth of history. You know, that stops at, that stops at about 150 around uh, AD after the death and resurrection. And it's not until about 321 when you have the canonization of the Bible, them putting the Bible together, uh, them separating what we now know as the Old and the New Testament, you know, them looking at these books, determining what will go forth. You know, there's so much that if you have been uh, studying up under somebody lazy that doesn't have the spirit of understanding or the most high Yah is not dealing with for them to know the truth, then you won't never come to these, these, uh, this level of understanding, but you truly need to go back and look up the etymology of Jesus. Okay. And when it says, okay, it gives you the etymology and then you look and it says root word of, you need to go back and trace that all the way back. When it comes to Christ, you need to look that up. Christos, look at the root word, the origins of that. Where did they derive that from? But here's the problem. Like I said, you got over 4,200 years of biblical history all throughout the Bible you have even more than that in the missing books that have been removed. And you've been walking around saying the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. Once you realize that, man, that letter J is less than a thousand years old, what were they calling them? We see that the first time they were called Christians was at Antioch. Nobody out there can ever uh, prove or debate or show proof, biblical proof, that Yahushua HaMashiach, the Messiah, the son of, son of the Most High, started a religion called Christianity. But if this stuff wouldn't have been inserted and made up at some point, there would be no basis for what is known as Christianity or supersessionism or replacement theology. So think about that. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Bow.